Hello, welcome to Erwin Singh Academy. Uh, we are discussing motion in one dimension, and uh, this is a lecture number three. I hope you have already watched part one to part two before watching this part three. In this lecture, we will discuss about the speed and velocity, and uh, also uh, instantaneous speed of the body. So let us discuss what is speed and what is velocity. In previous lecture, we have discussed about the uniform and non-uniform motion of the body. So, speed is what? What is speed that uh, we have to discuss? So, speed is speed and velocity. This is the topic. So, first of all, we have to discuss speed. The time rate, time rate of change. The same definition what you have learned in class 7th. Even the time rate of change of position of position of an object is called speed is called speed yes this is a scalar quantity this is a, a scalar quantity why it is a scalar quantity that we will discuss in this explanation quantity a scalar quantity and speed uh, is measured in terms of meter quantity and uh, speed is measured in terms of meter per second measured in terms of meter per second meter per second right meter per second that is called meter per second this is the SI unit you know so why is speed is time rate of change uh, as we have discussed that when a body travels anywhere whether it is in one dimension or two dimension or three dimension the position of a body at any point of time is uh, uh, x1 at time t1 and x2 at time t2 and uh, during this two time interval body travel from a to b then position change in position that is the actual distance so <clears throat> actual length of path length of path is the difference between two positions that is x2 t2 minus x1 t1 and what is the time interval during time interval t2 minus t1 right now time during t2 minus t1 time h x2 t2 minus x1 t1 and this rate of change so in this time this much time position changes this much so in unit time to find uh, position changes in unit time you need to divide and therefore the change in position in unit time change in position in unit time in unit time is what that is x2 t2 minus x1 t1 whole divided by t2 minus t1 and this rate of change of uh, position in unit time is called a speed and therefore a speed is defined as x2 t2 minus x1 t1 divided by t2 minus t1 right so this is the speed all about the speed and simply it can be written as x2 minus x1 upon t2 minus t1 right x2 minus x1 upon t2 minus t1 so that can be written also now what about velocity and why it is different from speed so the speed uh, is a rate of change of distance that can be also described that the speed is rate of change of distance now what about velocity so the definition is same the time rate of change of time rate of change of position change of position in a particular direction in a particular direction is called velocity in a particular direction particular direction is called velocity is called velocity 
it is a vector quantity vector quantity and SI unit is also the unit is meter per second the same as what this we have but what the difference is difference between these two is in a particular direction this is the important things that is there that here as well as not only magnitude but it also direction is given so here when particularly is either moving in one dimension or two dimension or three dimension anywhere the position of particle uh, at an instant of time if direction will change the position will uh, velocity will also change here uh, we can write like uh, velocity is that is in another word we can say that is the rate of change of displacement rate of change of displacement displacement is called velocity is called velocity rate of change of displacement is called velocity called velocity so velocity is nothing else but displacement by time velocity is defined as displacement upon time displacement upon time so here uh, velocity is defined as displacement upon time so I hope you are getting this point and because displacement is a vector quantity and therefore uh, time is also uh, this velocity is also vector quantity because displacement is a vector quantity so this is also a vector quantity I hope you got it So <clears throat> that is the basic difference between speed and uh, velocity and speed is what? Speed is nothing else but the distance upon time. A speed is distance upon time where velocity is uh, displacement upon time. A speed is a speed is distance upon time. Actual path distance upon time. So as we know that uh, displacement can be negative positive or zero so velocity can be negative positive and zero as well right now so this is displacement upon time right so velocity can be negative as well velocity can be negative negative because of direction because of direction right now but the speed cannot be negative anytime so these are some another term is there that is called instantaneous velocity so the third one is instantaneous velocity what is that the instantaneous velocity instantaneous velocity of a body of a body is defined as is defined as the velocity of moving body moving body at any instant of time instant of any instant of time, right now, any instant of time, that is the velocity at, at any points on its path, any point, any point on its path. So we can write here at any point of its path say <coughs> body is moving like uh, there is a say if I am writing here like body is here and their velocity is to be considered at any point here 
so the direction of velocity at any point of its path is the rate of change of displacement right so at this point say at this point p and the velocity is and at this point q where is the velocity another at this point velocity is like uh, q if the point the velocity is different because change in direction so point is p and q these are the two points here p the velocity position at this point is say uh, delta x right now position change in position is say delta x in delta t time so at any point if we can write here if body changes its position position in very small very a small interval of time interval of time delta t change its position delta x let me write here position <coughs> delta x in very small interval of time delta t then rate of change of change of position is delta x upon delta t right delta x upon delta t delta x upon delta t where delta t is very small that is approximately tends to zero so that is called instantaneous velocity this is defined therefore in instantaneous velocity is instantaneous velocity so it is given as delta v that is described as delta x upon delta t when limit delta to zero delta t is very small that because this is for very small point of time so we can write instantaneous velocity h velocity for very small interval of time describe instantaneous let me write in the single color only uh, instantaneous velocity there right now it is delta x upon delta t you can write it like this so this is what instantaneous velocity i hope you got this point right now okay so instantaneous therefore instantaneous velocity is defined as dv is equal to dx by dt rate of change of displacement i hope you got this point now average velocity and uh, what is average velocity average velocity is defined as average velocity average velocity average velocity is defined as the average velocity velocity of a moving body is defined as as v average is initial velocity initial velocity to final velocity final velocity and whole divided by u initial velocity plus final velocity and whole divided by final right so average velocity is defined as this now what about average speed so average speed average speed or uh, in greater way let me write something more about it when a body is a body is moving with initial velocity initial 
velocity u and after time t time t its velocity become v then average velocity is average velocity right now v a v is equal to u plus v by 2 u plus v by 2 this is the average velocity now what about average speed but the average speed is defined as but the average speed let me write on the next page that is slope of displacement time graph displacement time graph graph represent average velocity average velocity average velocity slope of displacement time graph represent average velocity let us uh, draw a diagram for it and thereafter we will discuss about the average speed as well say this is a velocity time graph displacement time graph x is displacement in this direction displacement right? and here is a time t time in t is seconds displacement is x in meters so it is uh, equal things which you can consider now say the position of a particle of a body is moving like this in this one, uh, there is a position of particle is like uh, T, here say T is the position and uh, slope is defined as, this one is slope, this one is slope from the two position of the particle, right, slope is defined like this, hmm? okay, now this can be extended till here also, you can extend it till there. Okay. There is no problem. Okay. So here, what will be the position? Say there are two points. Let uh, this is a point P, and this is a point Q. This one is x2, y2, and this one is nothing else but x1, y1. Say. is x1 y1 okay this is point p and this is point q now uh, slope of these two can be determined as change in position is what is this position is this one so change in position is along this axis only so here there is a change in position and uh, you can write it this this is x2 isn't it and this one is x1 y1 and y2 position is like this so this is the position along y axis there is a change in position so we can write this this is the x1 right x1 at t1 here y axis and x axis is not there here is position axis and time axis is there so therefore position can be described in terms of t1 x1 and t2 x2 t2 x2 right now so when time t2 position is x2 when time t1 position is x1 so this distance obviously this is a time axis so this is uh, t1 you know and this is a t2 so this distance must be t2 minus t1 and the time difference is t2 minus t1 and this one is x2 and this one is x1 so the difference between these two must be x2 minus x1 because this distance is x1 you know and this whole distance is x2 so x2 minus x1 now slope of this is defined as slope of the curve is defined here only right now so slope is this if this is theta then slope you know 
we know the slope of a line is the tangent of an angle is the tangent of an angle made by line made by line with x axis time axis and with x axis with x axis that is time axis here time axis and therefore tan theta is therefore tan theta is equal to slope m is equal to tan theta and tan theta is what x2 minus x1 upon t2 minus t1 and this is nothing else but change in velocity upon change in time so velocity is slope slope is defined as this is what this is a velocity average velocity so this is a velocity so therefore we can say the velocity of a moving body of a moving body can be determined determined by slope at any instant of time at any instant of time right now slope at any instant of time so wherever you have to find the velocity velocity you can find the slope and accordingly you can find out whether the velocity is more or less for example if there is a position time graph if there is a position time graph say this is a position time graph and here x axis and y axis is defined already If we compare the velocity of a particle in position time graph, this is a position time graph, position yeah, displacement time graph, you say. So instead of position time graph, I can write displacement time graph. So in this displacement time graph, say in this displacement time graph graph. The slope theta 1 theta 2 is greater than theta 1 and therefore tan theta 2 is greater than tan theta 1 because both are acute angle since and theta 2 are acute angle acute angle and both are like less than 90 degree that is slope of uh, theta 2 is slope of B that is slope of it means slope of B is greater than slope of A and therefore we can say velocity of B is greater than velocity of A. Right? So we can conclude by the slope uh, that what is the magnitude of the velocity approximately or simply we can say here VB is greater than B. It. So this is what we can conclude. It means anywhere slope will determine the velocity at any point of time. Now let us discuss some velocity time graph and velocity time graph, velocity time graph, velocity time graph is what? Velocity time graph. Velocity time graph. So here, uh, just let me construct few graphs, and uh, we will discuss accordingly. This one is a velocity point graph, uh, which is represent x-axis. This one represent y-axis, isn't it? But uh, clearly, this will represent time, time axis, time in second, and this is the velocity v in meter per second right and time in second so the graph 
is like this. Say if there is a graph like this, then what it represent? If this is a graph, then it will represent what what is in velocity or in rest. Here, consider when time is one. Say this is a point something v naught. Some velocity is v naught. So when time is one second, the velocity is v naught. When time is zero, then also this. When time is two second, then also velocity is two. When time is three, then also velocity is same. When time is four, then velocity four second, then also velocity is same. When time is five second, velocity is same. When time is six second, then also velocity is same. It means with every time the magnitude of velocity is same as well as direction. So here we can say the body has constant velocity. What is the type of body has? Body has constant velocity. Constant velocity means velocity is not going to change. Velocity is constant. There is no or even you can say or uniform velocity. Uniform velocity. This is also called uniform velocity, right? In velocity time graph, the in position time graph, the graph was a straight line, isn't it? Graph was a straight line, and as that was like this. Remember this now. So in position time graph, uniform velocity is represented. Let me draw here again, so that you will be able to understand it clearly. In position time graph, this is the position velocity time graph. And if it is position time graph, then graph will be like a straight line. <coughs> graph will be like a straight line. So in position time graph, if the slope is this is a position time graph, then slope will represent velocity. Slope in position time graph will represent velocity. Slope in position time graph, this slope in position time graph. In position time graph, position time graph, I represent or displacement time graph again. I represent velocity. Represent velocity. Right now. So since slope is constant everywhere, at this point, at this point, at this point, at this point, everywhere slope is same, and therefore velocity everywhere same. I remember this. And in velocity time graph, a straight line parallel to time axis will represent a uniform velocity. So I hope you got this. Okay. Now some other graphs also, uh, which will represent non-uniform velocity, as well, non-uniform velocity. So in velocity time graph, if there is a graph like, say this is a y-axis, x-axis. If this is here, if you find the velocity after one second is five meter per second, two second, ten meter per second, three meter, fifteen meter per second, and four meter, twenty meter per second. After five second, it is twenty-five meter per second. Velocity is uh, increasing with increasing time, so this is represent velocity at time graph non-uniform velocity, non-uniform velocity. Velocity is changing, or variable velocity. Variable velocity, you can say. This represents variable velocity, right? So here, the slope at any point of time will represent the acceleration. I'll discuss this later. Slope will at any point of time will represent the acceleration. Change in velocity is called an acceleration. So, if there is a constant velocity and velocity multiplied, then that will give the area of uh, this graph, velocity time graph. And velocity into time is equal to distance. It means the area represents the distance. So, we can conclude from this too that in velocity time graph, the area enclosed by curve, we can do in velocity time graph, velocity time graph. The area enclosed by curve, curve with time axis, time axis represent represent the distance covered by distance covered by 
covered by the body right so in figure 2 if i am saying this is figure 2 and this is figure 1 right now so if this is a b c o o a b c in figure 2 in figure 2 o a b c is the area obtained by by velocity velocity into time and velocity in time is distance so here o a b c is the area obtained by this and that is equal to distance similarly in figure 1 similarly in figure 1 the area enclosed by enclosed by curve o a and b o a and b this point is b say this point is b area enclosed by curve o a and b enclosed by curve o a b each the distance covered by the body distance covered by the body by the body right that can be obtained as by area of therefore it is a triangle so area of triangle is triangle is 1 by 2 that is base base is 5 and height is 25 so base is 5 and height is 25 so that is 125 by 2 that is 62.5 meter is the distance term so you can conclude accordingly whenever there is a velocity time graph remember this point that in velocity time graph the distance is equal to area enclosed by the curve i hope you are getting the point and when velocity is variable then that is called an accelerated velocity and slope in velocity time graph will represent an acceleration here uh, the slope is zero you in uniform velocity time graph here slope is zero so here uh, we can write slope is zero slope is zero here slope is positive slope is positive but it is a position time graph right now in velocity time graph if slope is zero it means body has uniform velocity so one thing important thing is that when slope is zero then body has uniform velocity when slope is positive here slope is slope is positive that is greater than zero then body has uh, whatever if there is a positive or negative if slope is negative then body has uh, decreasing velocity if slope is positive then body has increasing velocity so hopefully all these points are clear and uh, you have uh, got all these points and you will practice them uh, time to time and whenever there is any problem you will be free to ask in the next session uh, we will discuss the this topic again after the break so till then uh, keep watching and <laughs> god bless you please uh, subscribe this channel and also refer to your friends as well thank you very much for watching this god bless